everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be a makeup haul. I ordered a ton of stuff from Ulta. I also have a couple of things that I picked up in store at Walmart, and I am so excited to show you guys everything that I got. Everything that I'm mentioning in today's video will be linked down below in the description box. And yeah, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's go ahead and get started. It has been a while since I filmed a haul, I feel like. I don't know. I feel like I used to do these like every other day, so now when they happen, I feel like it's kind of a big deal. <laughs> so basically, um, I had a very generous Ulta gift card that I got for Christmas. I also had my Ulta rewards. I think I had like $130 in rewards plus my gift card, so I kind of went a little crazy and I bought a lot. The thing is, though, um, that they separated it out into two orders for some reason, like two shipments, and I got one of the shipments, and then I've been waiting for the other shipment, has never shown up, and I checked the tracking like a couple days ago, and it still said pending scan from like, you know, shipping facility or whatever, and I was like, well, okay. And then I checked today, which is January 29th, and it said that it was delivered on January 4th before I got the package that I actually did receive, which makes absolutely no sense. So I'm actually gonna have to go ahead and contact them about that and see what's going on, but I still have a lot of stuff to show you guys. So yeah, let's just, I don't even know where to start. I picked up some Hourglass products. This is like the bougie part of the haul. Almost everything else is like the drugstore side of Ulta, um, but I did pick up a couple of luxury items. So we have some Hourglass products. They started carrying Hourglass at Ulta a few months ago, I want to say, and um, I love Hourglass, but it's so expensive, and since I had some gift cards and rewards, I was like, you know what, now's the time to splurge. So this first product is the Ambient Lighting Bronzer in the shade Luminous Bronze Light. I don't know if this is going to work for me. I've never tried their bronzer before. It looks so pretty. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at that. I love the blushes and like the ambient lighting powders, but I do not believe that I have a bronzer from them. So this is very exciting. I cannot wait to try that out. Oh, I, I don't even want to know how much these were. I don't remember. <laughs> But um, I placed this order at the very beginning of the year or like the very end of 2020. I don't even remember honestly. Next we have the Ambient Lighting Infinity Powder. And this is like, I was kind of confused by this, but I can feel my hair is like all over the place. It was like tickling me. I was like, oh gosh, I cannot ignore this any longer. Um, I, I think that if I'm remembering correctly, this is sort of like an all over finishing powder. It looks really pretty. It sort of reminds me of like those candle glow powders that Too Faced used to have a long time ago. Like it has a little bit of like bronziness to it, but it looks like a very like satin sort of, you know, kind of giving your skin a little life situation. Um, so here's what it looks like. It looks gorgeous. Um, I guess I should go ahead and swatch these and see what they look like. Um, that's really pretty. <laughs> you probably can't even see it. Um, it sort of actually reminds me of this from Wet n Wild. It's their color icon bronzer, but it's in the shade Reserve Your Cabana. It's like a little bit of a luminous, not glittery, not shimmery, just like a little bit of a luminous, like soft powder. I think that's what that is supposed to be. And then the bronzer, I will go ahead and swatch as well. Oh my gosh, I love the way that these products feel. Here it is swatched. I need to try to get this stain off my hand. That's the lip that I'm wearing today. It's from Juvia's Place and it's in the shade Chic. It's their lipstick. I love this color so much, but it definitely does stain your hand if you swatch it. I kind of got it off, so hopefully my swatches will be a little more satisfying now. <laughs> and then the third hourglass product that I picked up, product that I picked up is the Ambient Lighting Blush in the shade Sublime Flush. I have their blush in the shade Diffused Heat and I love it so much. I got that in a boxy charm. So here is the blush and oh my god. This is literally so pretty. It's even prettier in person. 
I absolutely love that. I love the packaging. I think it's so cute. The blush is a lot smaller. I don't know if you'll be able to see. It's kind of like glaring, but the blush is definitely smaller than the bronzer and the infinity powder is the same size as the bronzer. This kind of packaging gets fingerprints all over it, but it's cute. Like, you know, while it's clean. Um, so I got all of those and then I think my only other high end product is this one right here, which is from NARS. This is a lip product. This is their air matte lip color and I have it in the shade all yours. I'm pretty sure this is a new uh, formula. It sort of looks like the packaging of their matte foundation. I can't remember the name of it, but it's like a mini version of that. And let's go ahead and look at what the shade looks like. Ooh, that's actually peachier than I was expecting. I mean, it matches the packaging like perfectly. I don't know, I, that's just very peachy. Super pretty though. It's sort of like a whipped feeling. It kind of reminds me of the Rare Beauty liquid lip type things that they came out with. That's what this texture reminds me of just based on swatching it, but this is absolutely gorgeous. Once again, this is the shade All Yours. Everything else is from the drugstore slash more affordable side or from Walmart. <laughs> so I picked up some other lip products. I'll go ahead and mention those now. I decided to pick up another one of these. This is the e.l.f. Ride or Die Lip Balm. I got it in the shade Mighty Mint. I bought the shade Cookie Dough or something like that and I hated it. <laughs> it was all separated. It was so goopy and sticky and it was just, oof, it was not it. And I got a lot of hate for not liking the product, which I mean, I guess, you know, you can't please everybody, but um, I figured I would give it another shot and try the clear one because hopefully the clear one wouldn't be all liquidy and separated. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna try it out. I'm already gonna swatch it on my hand just because I'm curious at what the consistency is like. I literally had to squeeze as hard as I could to get the other one out of the tube. So, oh, it just like popped. Um, this is already, like, it's it's difficult to squeeze, but it's already easier. It looks like there's a lot of air in here, actually. All right. <laughs> that looks better. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but do you see how used it looks? <laughs> that was all air that I had to squeeze out before any product came out. Um, but this is just the Mighty Mint. It's just a clear, oh yeah, that feels a lot better. It's still, it's still sticky, but it's not like... There was like, it was like stringing between my finger and my hand. My other one, this one's not doing that at all. Um, smells really good. So I feel like I'm already going to like that one better than the other one. I think, I truly think I got some sort of like a dud or just like a bad batch of the other lip balm because I know some people had the same exact experience as me and then others were like, you're crazy, like you're doing it wrong. <laughs> So, um, yeah, hopefully this one's better. I can't wait to actually try that on my lips. And then I picked up these two, which are actually like wrapped up. These are from Revlon. I'm gonna go ahead and open these up. These are their Colorstay Satin Ink Lip Products. I picked up two shades. We've got 001 and 009. Your go-to and speak up. Your go-to is the lighter one. So I guess these are like satin ink like what does that even mean <laughs> what the heck that does not look like what i thought it was gonna look like um no ma'am <laughs> uh does that look the same to y'all maybe it does maybe i'm crazy wait i'm trying to get it so there's not like a glare that does not look the same to me this looks brown <laughs> i guess it's kind of similar but i was just I don't know. I put it, I put like a little bit on the outside of the packaging to like straight up compare the color. Can you guys see a difference? I don't know. It looks orange and brown. <laughs> well, that'll be interesting. I don't know about that color, but I'm really excited to try the formula. And then this one is called Speak Up. This one, <gasps> oh, it's broken. <laughs> um, it's like completely broken. The, uh, I guess the part that like unscrews, um, it, it decided to break off, so that's unfortunate. Well, the color is gorgeous. It's a super like purpley color, 
Um, hmm. Well, I can't even close it because... Oh, there. Oh, no. I can't close it because it's like that broken. So that's going to go in the trash. That sucks. <laughs> I'm like not having good luck with my Ulta orders. Moving on. <laughs> I picked up one eyeshadow type product. This is the Revlon So Fierce The Big Bang uh, Prismatic Palette. Here's what it looks like. I saw this in like the new section on their website and I was like, ooh, I need that. So let me go ahead and sort of open this up a little bit so I can swatch it. Ooh, that is so pretty. These colors are gorgeous. Ooh, they're like really textured. It's quite interesting. There are the shades, super pretty. I'm gonna swatch them here. Oh my gosh. Those are beautiful. I cannot wait to try those out on the eyes. I'm totally gonna do another try new makeup video even though I literally just did one. I have so much fun stuff to try. I also picked up a couple of foundations and I actually ordered one online and then I picked up two in store at Walmart not realizing that I had already ordered it on Ulta's website because it's been so long. So I actually have two of these. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation. It says it's new. I ordered the shade 240 online and I picked up the shade 150 in store so I don't know which one is going to work for me but um, hopefully one of them does. It says that it is a natural finish anti-pollution foundation and that it has medium buildable coverage. It also says anti-blue light, which I don't know what that means. It's anti-pollution, antioxidant, and it's also oil-free, so I'm really excited to try this out. I'll definitely, most likely, try this in my upcoming trying new makeup video. Um, I also love the fact that there's a pump on it, and it's like a bottle. I don't know why I love this packaging so much, but like the e.l.f. Uh, camo CC cream and their primers are like that and I just love that packaging and then the other foundation that I picked up is also from Revlon this is the color stay light cover foundation and I got this in the shade 150 it's a natural finish it has SPF 35 it also says it's 12 hour wear um, but I think it is I think it's light coverage, I'm guessing. Um, but it says it's formulated without parabens, phthalates, fragrance, and mineral oil, which is awesome to hear. It feels very liquidy, so I think it's gonna be a light coverage. Also, it says light cover, so I'll definitely try that out and let you guys know my thoughts on it. I have an eyebrow pencil that I'm really excited to try. I recently asked you guys what your favorite e.l.f. products were, and multiple people recommended this. This is the Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I picked it up in the shade Neutral Brown and I'm really excited to try this out. I love brow pencils and I love like micro or like precise brow pencils, like the really skinny precise ones. I prefer those over like, you know, the triangle, like thicker ones. That's just my personal preference. But here's what it looks like. Um, it has a spoolie on one side and the actual product does look like it has a pretty fine point so that should be good i'm hoping the color works out all right there were a couple of options but i thought neutral brown would be the best one for me i also picked this up which this is sort of like a liner slash eyeshadow kind of product I feel like my hair is looking kind of weird. <laughs> um, this is from Revlon. It's part of their Chrome line. I think it's the same collection as this eyeshadow palette. And this is the So Fierce Chrome Ink Liquid Liner. And it looks very interesting. Um, I don't know if you can see on the package there, but it has a pretty like large end to it. It sort of looks like a you know uh, like a foam tip, not like a brush. Um, but it looks really cool and the like bronzy metallic finish is gorgeous so I thought I would play around with that. I don't really use eyeliner too often but that really interested me. And then I picked up some bronzers. Oh my goodness. This one I bought from Walmart. This is the new Physicians Formula Matte 
Manelli butter bronzer. <laughs> um, I think the difference between this one and the original is that one of them is satin and one of them is matte. I think this one's the matte finish and the original butter bronzer is like a satin finish. But I picked this up in the shade matte bronzer, I guess. And it says it's water resistant and Physicians Formula is known for their bronzers. So I figured I would try this one out and see how it is. I've seen this around, but I don't really know people's thoughts on it compared to the original. So I'm really curious to try that out. I actually really enjoy the original one. I've kind of gone back and forth over time, but I've you know at the moment I'm enjoying it <laughs> um, and then I picked this one up from I Heart Revolution this was just so cute like I had to pick it up this is the coffee bronzer and let me open this up I got it in the shade latte hopefully this works out for me but <laughs> the I Heart Revolution packaging is just so cute um, so here's what it looks like it looks like a little latte how fun is that um, Oh, no, ma'am. <laughs> That's a little dark. Just for reference, this is the bronzer that I have on now. Um, yeah. <laughs> Big difference. Oh, man. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll try it. But I thought I picked the lightest one, but maybe not. I'll have to update you guys on that one. Um, and then I have one more product to talk about. And it is also from Revolution, Makeup Revolution. But this is from Revolution Pro. The packaging is why I bought this, I'm not gonna lie. This is the Ultimate Eye Look Palette. Wow, I was thinking this was like a highlighter or something. Um, it's in the shade Diamonds. Oh, I almost cut myself. Um, Diamonds and Pearls. And <laughs> the packaging is really cool. Look at that. Oh, it smells like glue. Yikes. Not a fan of the scent. Oh, that's pretty bad, <laughs> but it's so cute, and oh my gosh, hello? Okay, that's as far as it opens, but here is what the palette looks like. This looks so freaking gorgeous. I have to swatch this one. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's my favorite shade that we have seen today. Oh, it's kind of like a little bit of like a, has like a flakiness to it. It's so glittery. That's very impressive. That is beautiful. It looks like we've got two mattes, these two right here. Uh, this looks like a metallic, and this one is like a super intense metallic. So I'm excited about that as well. And that's everything that I have to show you guys. Um, like I mentioned, I have a missing package, so I'm gonna have to email Ulta right now as soon as I'm finished filming this video to figure out what's going on because I ordered some really fun stuff and I was really looking forward to it. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, um, that was today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget all of the products that I mentioned will be linked down below in the description box in case you are interested in checking any of them out. I love you guys so, so so much. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!